So good morning and welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us for this roundtable discussion. And Ms. Wu, the round uh, moderator for this roundtable discussion. Before we start the discussion, I would like to introduce our invited guests. First, we have uh, Ms. Sajato, the representative for consumer. Dr. Alia, the lecturer major in food packaging from University Science Malaysia. Ms. Fahana, the packaging manager from Team Firm Company. And not to forget our special guest, Mr. Yap, the officer from EU Regulatory Department. So as what we know, uh, food packaging is so important to the food itself as it, had, it performs the four basic functions which are containment, convenience, communication and protection. However, due to the growing interest of consumer in the food products with control quality and, and extended shelf life, the food manufacturer has to come up with the uh, new, uh, new and modern packaging with uh, additional functionalities. So one of these is actually the smart packaging. So the topic that we are going to discuss today is smart, pa smart packaging convenience versus hype. We are going to discuss uh, whether the smart packaging is actually convenient for us or it is, or it is just a uh, hype seeking or creating by the industry. Uh, before we go further into these topics, uh, we, I would like to ask uh, Ms. Sajato as a consumer, what is your perception regarding smart packaging? Uh, yeah. I do not really know about the concept of smart packaging, but I think, uh, however, I think the this it is a packaging that convenient for me to consume to the food and maybe it it can help me to store the food for a longer time. Uh, another thing, uh, it maybe has a special special characteristic that um uh, special characteristic that enable me to open the packaging easily. So uh, this is actually true. Actually, not every one of us know, know what is actually a concept of smart packaging. Uh, there is a research carried out by uh, Baska and he found that most of his respondents do not know what is actually smart packaging. Actually, they came across with this uh, smart packaging, but they don't know they, that that is actually the practical examples of smart packaging. So to enable all of us to have further understanding on smart packaging first, uh, Dr. Alia, can you briefly expand? Okay, basically a smart packaging uh, enhanced functionality that can be divided into two, which are active packaging and also intelligent packaging. For the active packaging, it will be enhanced protection effect. For example, additive word incorporate will add into the package in the order to maintain or to extend the product quality and also shape life. It also they can add it within the pack attached into the inside or incorporated within the package material themselves. However, for the intelligent packaging, it also there will be a focuses on the communication. It will be uh, manage the conditions of the package of the food and give information regarding the quality of the food or product. It also there has a component that can send the environment and uh, process the information and, and then allow the uh, action to protect the food product. So, thank you. So uh, actually you can say that smart packaging is actually a new food packaging that can perform the additional functionality beyond the four basic ones. So back to our topic, does the introduction of smart packaging uh, make us convenient? I think I know some example of smart packaging uh, after listening from Dr. Alia. For example, we have a snack, um, biscuit and meat that package with uh, oxygen absorber inside the food packaging. So I believe that the oxygen, as oxygen absorber will alter the atmospheric, co composition, atmospheric, atmospheric condition inside the food packaging and extend the shelf life. But I concern that this uh, oxygen absorber will uh, change the food composition and all can affect the food properties. So uh, currently, actually there is quite a uh, rare and limited declaration and reference concerning about the smart packaging. So in EU, normally the food industry will refer to the EU regulation when dealing with these smart packaging matters. Mm, before we make some amendment in this EU regulation, actually the releasing materials inside the smart packaging cannot meet the requirement because they are specially designed to intentionally change the composition and also the organoleptic properties of the foods. However, due to the growing interest in the smart packaging trend as we mentioned just now, so we have made an amendment in these particular regulations. So as a result, uh, a special article is inserted instead that the change in the composition and also the organoleptic properties of the food due to the effect of active packaging is allowed provided that the releasing, the, provided that the releasing materials is recognized as a food ingredient and also the food additive that can be released into the foods. Mm, besides that, I also know that some consumers might worry about the sachet, for example, 
this one. Uh, they might be ingest, they might be ingested accidentally by consumer, especially children. Therefore, in regulations, we said that the this uh, this subject should be labeled by using the words "do not eat" and also a symbol to avoid that this subject is perceived as edible content. So thank you for explanation. So since uh, smart packaging is now a trend in food industry, so uh, Ms. Fahana, as an industry expert, could you just uh, share with us a few examples? I think the most common examples are smart labels and indicators that incorporate into packaging uh, that can uh, measure the food product as they ripen. Uh, for instance, uh, fruit product uh, ripeness uh, like uh, ripe sense can be used to measure the fruit product as they ripen. So this will uh, prevent the consumer from damaging the product and reduce the losses to industry. Besides, many manufacturers use a uh, time temperature uh, indicator to monitor the evolution of time with temperature. So uh, this will provide the minimum estimation of the product spent in the market above the threshold temperature so that customer can know the freshness of the product. Thank you. So, um, uh, besides then the smart labels and the uh, indicator you mentioned just now, <coughs> I knew that actually uh, the incorporation of uh, antimicrobial agent into the active food packaging is also quite recent and it actually creates some concern among the consumer because they might worry that the there might be a possible migration of the materials into the food. So uh, Mr. Yap, can you provide us a little bit of uh, opinion about this? Sure. Uh, actually, uh, there is a community so-called uh, union list that includes a list of authorized substances that can be incorporated into the smart packaging and also their usage condition as well. So moving on to the migration issue mentioned just now, actually the overall migration for the releasing materials that can be released into the food can, ex can exceed the overall migration limit OML as stated in the regulations, provided that the level transfer is complied with the existing food law. And then, uh, besides that, the authorization of these active and intelligent materials should be evaluated by the EFSA and we, and, we, and only will be granted after we receive a positive opinion from the EFSA. So I think the consumer should not too worry about this issue, the safety issue. Uh. But uh, I have a concern regarding this smart packaging uh, because uh, most of customers do, uh, most of customers very late of knowledge about this smart packaging. So, um, so uh, we always worry that we will get the wrong uh, information that provide to uh, to us and mislead us. So how I uh, so how I can know to uh, I how how I can get the um, information that provide uh, accurately and reliable. You raise a good point there. So actually, uh, although we know that the intelligent materials is not intentionally released the substances into the food, however, they are still need to subject to the declaration for the reliability of the information provided to the consumers. Therefore, I think that this should can ensure that the information provided by these intelligent materials uh, will not mislead the consumers. Uh, since the, this might packaging are uh, designed to change the uh, composition of food and alter the food properties uh, and is also allowed the, by the regulation as mentioned earlier. So, um, um, so it is still possible for us to, uh, of us, it's still possible for the active component inside the smart packaging uh, affect the uh, spoilage, uh, uh, will miss the spoilage effect as well. So actually, the change in the composition and also the organoleptic properties of the food due to, in order to mask the food spoilage effect is not acceptable at all. So for example, the smart packaging cannot produce a color change, absorb or release the substances such as uh, amine and also aldehyde in order to mask the food spoilage effect. For example, um, they cannot release the uh, amine or aldehyde to mask the food spoilage effect. And then, Oh, this uh, is because because this action might mislead the consumers and therefore it's strictly prohibited at all. So uh, we should say that fortunately EC has taken this into consideration and included it in the regulation. So others, uh, others than what mentioned just now, uh, actually the smart packaging can also uh, have the anti-counterfeiting function and reduce the case of uh, consumer being cheated because they might bought some uh, fake products or not authentic products. So what is, how does this concept work actually? 
Uh, so smart packaging can improve the security of product and improve the anti-counterfeit. Uh, from my company, Tim Film, uh, we use a way to reduce the fake product in extra virgin olive oil by in embedded the uh, chips. So this chip will embed it into the behind the labels to give the information to the consumer about the manufacture of the oil. So this will uh, give information for the consumer about the fake product and the original product. Uh, another a similar another can an, another smart packaging concept is a radio identification uh, radio frequency identification stand for RFID. Also, you gain interest from a many manufacturer. This is because this technology they have been successful apply to the transparency control and also supply chain management processes because its ability to identify, to manage, and also can characterize the flows of the group compared to the traditional barcode system, which only can scan one item at one time. However, by using RFID, we can scan hundreds of items at one time, so we can save our time. So, hence, the development of smart packaging is indeed convenience for us right after listening to so many of the convenience, uh, especially for the consumer and manufacturer. In these few years, the uh, smart packaging has received its fair share of hype due to its growing demands and the conveniences. However, is it uh, really necessary for us or it is just an industry gimmick to create the hype among the co consumer and food competitors? So, at the Intelligent and Smart Packaging uh, USA conference held early at this year, the message given was clear, uh, just because it can be done does not mean it should be done. So what do you guys think about this? Uh, recently, I found that America's net company that has released a chip with a built-in a brief analyzer. Um, this is designed like that because it able uh, to detect the alcohol content in the consumer brief and can uh, remind them uh, do not drive if the alcohol content they reach at a certain uh, level and uh, provide them a code which uh, them uh, can uh, call the Uber. So I must admit this is a very good approach for the consumer safety. I agree with what can be done that does not mean that should be done. I cannot deny that uh, smart packaging bring convenience to us, but some manufacturer tends to only thinking about profit only. So uh, from my reading, uh, one of the third consumer only prefer more on packaging rather than price. So uh, that's why many of the manufacturer are always looking for enhancing or improving the packaging. So. Uh, when your packaging is look extraordinary, you will attract more cons uh, you will attract more attention from your consumer. Uh, after listening, uh, what you have just mentioned just now, uh, it's still like the advanced technology has been used to produce the smart packaging. <laughs> so I, uh, so that I think is will in this smart advanced technology will increase the cost as uh, the cost as well, right? So, uh, do we offer to uh, to do we offer to purchase this product with uh, uh, smart smart packaging technology? Yes, you are true. It will be increased the cost of the pack, uh, packaging of the food. Uh, smart packaging, especially intelligent uh, packaging, the call will be used to link the product to the call. They will be allowing the user to access the detailed information of the origin before purchasing. So this is a very uh, great for the high-end product. Obviously, the packaging itself there will be increased in the cost if the electronic there will be uh, used uh, to uh, perform the higher functions. The idea, of course, is somewhere in a conflict uh, between a uh, sustainable uh, packaging and not economically flexible. So uh, this means that actually, although the smart packaging is convenience, but most of the time we also need to con consider the cost of this convenience. Uh, is it really worth for the value? Uh, Ms. Jajato, as a consumer, would you like to purchase a food packaging with incorporation of intelligent packaging but sell at a much higher price than the normal one? Uh, no, of course, because I will consider the smart packaging with the, uh, with the, uh, with the affordable price. If the smart packaging uh, is useful uh, for daily life, but uh, it's still not a necessary, not a necessary one. Um, uh, in beside that, um, I think the shelf life of food can be increased by with the other way of method. 
and the older generation are still thin the best food when uh, when it, uh, when the food has a shorter shelf life and uh, but it do not add any material to the food so i think in this way uh, uh, the smart packaging may be convenient uh, to uh, for certain condition but uh, for the freshness of food cannot still be comf comfort and ensure uh, actually, there is a so question uh, whether electronic is necessary at all. Um, most of the consumer they might think that uh, smart uh, packaging is uh, is very uh, good, but some of them do not think like this. This is uh, because smart packaging is still a uh, new and it also not prove a success. So uh, after listening to so many opinions. I think uh, we can say that actually we have to consider many situations or conditions when you want to determine whether the, a certain smart packaging is actually convenience or is just a hype. Uh, so before we end our discussion, anyone has the additional information regarding this topic? Yes. <coughs> so before I forgot, uh, I think I need to add out some information about labeling. So under the regulations, actually the consumer should be informed about the presence of these active and intelligent materials by sufficient labeling. And then in aspect of the active packaging, the identity such as the name and also the usage condition need to be stated in the labeling to inform the consumer. So I think that this is a good way to inform the to know to allow the consumers to know about whether the product is co is incorporated with this smart packaging or not by referring to this simple language, simple labeling. Uh, so in conclusion. We could say that the modern technology has allowed the growing demands of smart packaging because uh, it has a control, food quality and extended shelf life. Sometimes we cannot avoid that this smart packaging concept to be exploited by the food industry just for on their own benefits only. However, if this concept can be uh, applied wisely or used widely on a food product, of course it is uh, convenience instead of hype. So it comes to the end of our discussion. Thanks for all of the uh, precious comments given and thank you for your attention. Thank you.